So there's two kind of looks in this in, in oblivion. There's one where we're kind of in this clean, futuristic tower that's supposed to be in this unbelievable structure that's 3,000 feet in the air. And then there's the ground, which has this kind of gritty, kind of dirty look. And we shot a lot of the, the ground plates and a lot of the atmosphere in Iceland. And what we really loved about, you know, that there's a lot of challenges in the movie. And one of the challenges is even in the location in Iceland to be able to capture um, an, an, an overcast sky, which is very kind of white, and a volcanic black earth. And I just knew that would be a pretty tremendous challenge. And we want to see all the sharps and all the nuances in the volcanic earth. And uh, we, you know, we sat up there with a you know, helicopter crew. We had the eclipse ball. And uh, we and I sent, I think we shot it with the F-65. And I think we shot a lot of that stuff with the uh, uh, Fujinon 14 to, um, the 14.5 to 45 zoom. And it's, yeah, that footage is awesome. Besides processing dailies in the trailer, the other thing that we would do is daily screenings. And for those, we were using our frame logic system, which has a color front, front end for color grading. When they would come into the screening each day, what they would actually be viewing is the 4K material being debared in real time with grades, non-destructive grades on top of it. So if there were times where they needed to warm up or cool a shot down, they had our colorist there during the screening who could perform that as well.